This video is part one of a comprehensive two-part guide to Arctic Fuse, a Cody skin created by Jurio Monkey, the same developer behind popular skins like Arctic Horizon and Arctic Zephyr. This part will cover installation and initial setup. To install Arctic Fuse on Kodi, start by going to the settings. In the settings menu, navigate to the system, then to system settings, and scroll down to add-ons. Ensure that unknown sources are enabled, as this setting is often toggled off by default. Enabling it allows you to install add-ons from repositories other than the official Kodi one. This step is crucial because Arctic Fuse is in Jurial Monkey's alpha repository and not currently in the official Kodi repository. When you toggle on unknown sources, a warning prompt will appear, click yes. Next, go to update official add-ons from, select it, and then choose any repository. At the top, you can choose how you want add-ons to be updated. By default, add-ons are set to update automatically, but clicking on this will provide you with two additional options, to be notified of updates without installing them, or to not check for updates at all. Choose the option you prefer. After this, return to the settings menu and go to File Manager. In File Manager, scroll down to Add Source, click on None, and enter the path for Jurio Monkey's Alpha repository. I will leave a link in the description, just type the exact link here. Once done, click OK, then name the source. You can keep the default name or choose any name you prefer. When finished, return to the settings page. Go into Add-ons and scroll down to click on Install from zip file. Select the source you just added, then click on the file within it. After a few seconds, you should receive a notification that the repository has been installed. Move up one step and click on Install from Repository. Enter the Jurial Monkey Alpha repository, navigate to Look and Feel, and then to Skin. Click on Arctic Fuse. A pop-up will appear, listing all the dependencies or additional add-ons required for the skin to function properly, click OK, as these will be installed automatically along with the skin. Wait a few seconds for the skin to download and install completely. A pop-up will ask if you want to switch to the skin, click Yes. Another pop-up will ask if you want to keep the change, click Yes again. This will take you to the setup wizard for the skin. In the first section of the setup wizard, you can choose your layout style. The layout you select here can be easily changed later from the settings and the widget customization page. The setup wizard offers a variety of options. The classic layout removes the spotlight and stacks your widget group in a simple vertical arrangement. The compound layout displays the spotlight, category submenus, and vertically stacked widgets but minimizes the side menu into a single menu button. The categories layout is similar to the compound layout but spreads out the side menu. The combined layout also resembles the compound layout but displays the widget groups horizontally instead of vertically. As mentioned earlier, all of these options can be mixed, matched, and adjusted later from the settings and widget customization page. I'll cover all these options in detail and explain how to navigate through them in part 2. For now, choose the layout that suits your preference and click on Next Step at the bottom. In the next section of the Setup Wizard, you can choose the theme of the skin. There are several options available, including Midnight Purple, Aqua Classic, Blue Slate, Tropical Sunset, and Miami Vapor Wave. These themes can be changed at any time, and the skin settings offer a comprehensive color customization system that allows you to mix and match colors as you like. Select the theme you prefer, then click on Next Step at the bottom. In the final section of the Setup Wizard, you can choose the dialog style for the skin, which will determine the appearance of every dialog box that pops up. Like the other selections, this can be changed at any time. The standard option uses a subtle gradient that matches your chosen color theme. The adaptive option uses a blurred image based on the fan art or backdrop of the current item, though this may impact performance. The slate option features a simple light gray background with no blur or gradient. 
The light option uses a bright background with inverted text, while the coal option has a simple dark gray palette. Select the one you prefer, then click Close. If you have connected a library to Kodi, your library items will populate the homepage. If not, you will need to set up your widgets and menus. In part 2 of this video, I will explain all the settings, customization options, and features of Arctic Fuse in detail.